we will look into it. Yes, I'm aware that it's an election year. Keep a hold of your hat, Counselor. Now is not the time to lose your nerve. It would appear that someone has hocked a rose gold wedding ring, a matching engagement ring. Sound familiar? Deirdre Muller. Press the pawnbroker and see what you can find out. The address is 348 South Main Street. The Muller case goes before the grand jury next week, and the DA does not want any egg on his face. Then get out to the railroad depot on Santa Fe Avenue. We have another poor unfortunate found this morning beside a railroad line. 40-year-old white woman. Right, Skipper. Another body and dear to mother's ring. The Emperor may soon have to come to terms with the fact that he's wearing no clothes. What exactly did you get that book of riddles shoved up your ass, Phelps? Is that what your old man paid college tuition for? I don't care. I don't go in for letting gangsters off scot free. Is anybody making coffee soon? I want to make homicide. I mean, you know you've made it if you got that left. You've got to admit, this is looking odd. Yeah, anyone could put on a ring. But if you take it along with all of the other indicators... Cole, Hugo Moeller was identified by the school's ground. He's our guy. Witnesses have fingered the wrong guy before. He ran, for God's sake. And he always maintained he was set up. you boys. Detectives Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. You have a rose gold wedding and engagement ring? David Bremner. Am I going to get something for this pledge? I gave that bum money, now you guys are going to leave me short. How much did you give him? Fifty bucks. Try another number. Twenty? Try ten. Feel lucky you're getting it. I have the rings right here. Mark here. Maker's Mark. Usually traceable. That one came from Hartfield's Jewelry down on Broadway. Thanks for the tip. Does this mark mean anything? All mark. Gives you an idea of the quality. What have you got on the guy who brought these in? Goes by the name of Percy B. Shelley. Gave an address. 15 Poland Street, London, Tulare County. Can you give us a description of the man who pawned these rings? Not sure. Medium height, medium build, dark hair, I think. Sorry. He just had one of those forgettable faces. We'll be in touch, Mr. Bremner. the local troopers check out the Schlaer County address. The address is bogus. The perp is having fun with us. The guy who's been sending the Dahlia letters is also the guy who pawned the rings. How do 
you figure that? Percy Bysshe Shelley wrote the poem that came with the Dahlia Letter. The Dahlia Letters are general. The man who killed Elizabeth Shore may have also killed Deirdre Mullen. And how do we prove that, though? Skip right to the likers. We're going to have to rely on this guy for the government's vanity. Any central units, 459 suspects to be taken into custody at the trolley station on Lucas Avenue. Stand by for further. We should keep this development with the rings under our hat until these people are back. We're all on the same team, Rusty. Chain of command, though. The skipper will decide who needs to know. Got it? I get it, Rusty. I just don't like it. Hard, isn't it? Yeah. I look after all the rail depots. What have you got? The Negro, Nelson Gaines, called it in. I came down here to make sure him and the other guy, Jameson, stuck around. Jameson found the body? Something like that. Guy makes me sick. We'll talk to the coroner. Keep an eye on both of them. Wouldn't park there if I were you. What are you thinking, Ray? The city keeps tossing us dead bodies. We're just running to catch up. Incidental. I don't think so. What have we got here? White female, approximately 40 years of age, lipstick smudges on the face, but no writing, at least nothing legible. A blunt force trauma to the temple, nose, and eye regions. Ligature marks point to the probable cause of death being strangulation. Any idea of the time of death? From her temperature, after midnight would be my guess. Very good. There is the usual evacuation smell, but it appears she's been living rough for quite some time. Very strong smell of alcohol. Well, the autopsy will tell, but I would assume that she was inebriated. A 
another missing ring. Certainly seems I've been swabbing a lot of bare fingers recently. Can you be more exact about the time of death? No later than 2 a.m. The state the body was in, a one or two hour window is the best I can do. Blood splatter on the carriage. She must have been struck while standing up. Wouldn't park there if I were you. We could go over to the lot and see what they know about her. That's going to be difficult, Cole. The Keystone Studio lot closed back in 41. will remember her. This is a chit for personal items, not booze. It's an angle worth investigating. Wouldn't park there if I were you.
Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, detective? I need an address on Levine's Liquor, closest store to the Santa Fe Avenue rail yard, if possible. Just a moment, detective. Closest store would be the one at 939 South Hope Street. Thanks. Detective Phelps and Galloway, homicide. Can you tell me exactly what happened? We were shunting cars over to the main line when I saw this man here lying on top of this woman. The woman wasn't moving and seemed to be in a bad way. What time was this? About 7.30 this morning, sir. Thanks for your help. Have you given Patrolman Hart your details? I have, sir. Thank you. You can go now. Wouldn't park there if I were you. Detective Phelps, LAPD homicide. John Ferdinand Jameson. We need you to answer some questions, John. If you don't mind, I prefer Ferdinand. Don't push your luck, knucklehead. What were you doing to the body, Ferdinand? Are you sure you won't be upset? Try me, Ferdinand. I was kissing her. It's not against the law. Shut up. There's no Take law your against it. Like a man. Turn out your pockets, Ferdinand. Classic Carmine. yours, Ferdinand? No. I found it near her purse. I thought she could use some lipstick. Rusty, stop. Don't hit him. went through her purse. It wasn't like she needed it. I took a look. You found her lipstick. What did you write on her body? What are you talking about? I didn't write anything. You found the body? Yes, I did. I work here. I was coming off shift and headed home. Why didn't you report the body, Jameson? Do you know how this is going to look to a jury? A jury? What gives? I, I could tell that she was dead. I came through here about midnight last night. She wasn't here then. Let me belt him again. You're under arrest, Jameson. We'll see how this plays out. Until then, you can think a little on how you'd like to be treated if you were found dead. I'm telling you, it's not illegal. Me and some friends of mine... Clyde, you get this sack of shit into a cell, I'll deal with him later. Sure, Rusty.
Over here, Rusty. Hold on, I'm coming. that those goddamn Chinese want to sell the relief food that we're sending them? Yeah. Yeah, I read about that. These people are starving. They can't do that. They want to sell the food to fund the civil war against the communists. Really? I guess that's okay, then. Armies can't fight without food. You spend all your money on weapons, but you still have to have the will to fight. Fortunately, the Reds will win in China. Watch your mouth. Know what you're saying? The people of this country overthrew the king. You think the Chinese will balk at an emperor if they are starving? Galloway, homicide. We need to ask you some questions concerning Evelyn Summers. I'm Walter Mensch. Evelyn Summers, what is it now? You knew Evelyn? As well as I wanted to know Evelyn. She's a pain in the ass, always coming in here, cadging drinks, never had any money. She was in just a couple of nights ago. Did she ever tell you where she was staying? I don't know. I think she was living rough. She had that kind of stunk about her. Who did she drink with? Uh, a bunch of these guys. Ask around. What's your name? Grosvenor McCaffrey. Mind if I ask you some questions, Mr. McCaffrey? I'm just a starving writer, detective. What do you want to ask about? Evelyn Summers, and why she was found beaten and strangled in the rail depot on Santa Fe. Okay. I see your point. How well did you know her? I can't say that I knew her. It was more like I was aware of her. Did you see Evelyn last night? No, I was at home, writing. Do you want to get dragged into this, McCaffrey? Do you want us to get interested in you? 
She hung out with this powder puff, James Tiernan. They haunted the public library together. How well do you know James Tiernan? I know he works some kind of plebeian job at Rawlings Bowling Alley. Rawlings? I know that place. Corner of 9th and Grand. A lot of cops bowl there on Tuesday nights. Back here. I've not said my piece yet. Do you have a criminal record, Mr. McCaffrey? Nothing serious. I've had a few skirmishes. You want to save me some time, or do you want me to look up your file? Industrial disputes, strikes, workers' rights, that kind of thing. A regular fifth columnist. Nice to meet you, comrade. Thank you for the information, Mr. McCaffrey. We're gonna look getting around in this thing, Cole. You're free to speak to the regulars, just don't shake them too hard. You a friend of Evelyn Summers? Who's asking? Very cute. You know who's asking. I know my rights. You don't have any. Answer the question. Evelyn mooches for drinks. I don't have any time for that. Was that so hard? Keep writing me, copper. What did you make of McCaffrey? There'll come a day, and it's coming very soon. We'll run him and the rest of his pinko buddies out of Los Angeles. Amanda's a suspect.
can I do for you? LAPD, Phelps and Galloway. We're making inquiries into the murder of Evelyn Summers. Evelyn? She's dead? You knew Evelyn Summers, Mr. Robbins? Yes, I knew Evelyn. I was a good friend of her ex-husband. She kept some of her stuff here. Can you show us, please? Sure. Come this way. You got some fine stock here, Mr. Robbins. Now you let us take some for the road, this case might get solved a lot quicker. He's joking, Mr. Robbins. When exactly did Evelyn work in the pictures? A few years ago. She worked in legal copyrights for music. I'm guessing Evelyn hadn't held down a job for quite some time before she was killed. Rollins Bowling Alley. Maybe Evelyn did something other than drink in her spare time. She wasn't always such a loner. Evelyn was reading Aristotle? Evelyn wasn't stupid. The only stupid thing about her was her need to drink. And she was borrowing books from Grosvenor McCaffrey. That's all? I can be more used to you than that. We're trying to account for Evelyn's movements yesterday. She came by in the morning. A social visit to pick up some of her things? She had a couple of bucks and bought a quart of rye. Any idea where the money came from? She didn't mention it. But she did say the booze was a present for a boy. She said they had been fighting and she had to make it up to him. Were you and Evelyn close, Mr. Robbins? How many people will be sad she's gone? I'll be one of the few. I got the impression that Evelyn had been sleeping rough of late. The 
became difficult for me to have her stay here. Her mother was trying to get her back on the straight and narrow. She's old now. And to be honest, you have to have a good reason to want to get back on. You know a friend of Evelyn's by the name of McCaffrey? Not personally. We are struggling for leads, Robbins. Did she know McCaffrey? She idolized him. From what I gather, the feeling was far from mutual. He seems to peddle a revolutionary stance, fixing the ills of society. You could see how it would appeal to down and outs like Evelyn. Thanks for your help, Mr. Robbins. No problem. Hey, I'd like to make arrangements for the funeral. You think I could get in touch with Evelyn's mother? Put in a call to the watch commander at Central Station, Mr. Robbins. He'll be trying to reach the next of kin. Thanks. Get the guy, huh? Evelyn never hurt anybody. Eleven King. A message from Captain Donnelly. Return to Central. Go to. Eleven King. In or out. Let's not keep the man waiting, Phelps. Is downstairs with Ray Pinker and Carruthers. Yeah, I want to make homicide. You know, you've got it made if you can get to that desk. I 
I used to be indecisive. Now I'm not so sure. What's this about, Captain? Ray and Mal have some concerns over the Henry and Muller cases, which I don't want aired outside of this room. The evidence is solid, Captain. I agree, Rusty. It's just that corpses keep piling up. Copycats. I've been banging the same drum. But the notes and the lipstick messages. Evelyn Summers, cartel classic Carmine. Each woman, same brand, same color. Teresa Terrelson didn't have a lipstick message. Technically, you're right, Rusty. She didn't have any lipstick. But she did have a message. We found it beneath her dress, scraped with a sharp stick. What did it say? You sure you want to know, Ray? As far as we can be sure, it said, Cunt BD. That's one way of looking at it. Looking at what? Cunt is all about access, Phelps. You're married, so yours is mortgaged. Some of us like to pay by installments. This guy doesn't like to pay at all. Why are you so angry, Mal? Because I just had to fire one of my assistants. He was a friend of Jameson's. God knows what he might have been up to. Captain, we have good leads in the Summers case. But it's up to you to decide how we proceed. Keep this under your hat for now. And to follow up on Evelyn Summers, I want daily reports. Need a drink. I got the jitters. We got again. our orders. Back to the Summers case. Get an address for McCaffrey. He'll have blown the bar. I'll meet you outside. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. I'm bummed with the swipe and put him down in my sack. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, detective? I need an address for a Grosvenor McCaffrey. Grosvenor McCaffrey. Apartment 6, 126 Yale Street, between Ord and Alpine. Thanks, ma'am. I want to make comments. You know you've made Let me pose a question. Depends. What you got to do with? Morals. Would it bother you to put the wrong person away? Depends. On what? On whether anyone except the poor son of a bitch in the slammer ever found out.
Doesn't look like anybody's home. Terrible shave. Means there's nobody to let us in. You want to do the honors, Phelps? I doubt it. Beside the body. At the very least, I'd say it ties McCaffrey to the scene. Seems irrelevant. He said he was at home. He said he didn't know her. And we have the book. Let's see Carruthers argue his way out of this one. Is that you, Grosvenor? Who are you guys? What are you doing in here? We're from the LAPD, ma'am. Do you know where we might find McCaffrey? I'm his neighbor. Is he in trouble? Look, lady, we need to find him, and in a hurry. Are you going to give me trouble? He has a pigeon coop up on the roof. He spends his mornings up there when he's been drinking. How do we get up there? Down the hall and up the stairs. Drunk and in command of a carrier pigeon. Hmm. Surely we can ride him up to that. A citation, at least. That's the guy from the paper. Solved that big case. One nice thing about egotists, they don't talk about other people. Running on a hangover, McCaffrey? Sit down and we'll that talk. Son of a bitch. I'll go get our wheels. You a runner, McCaffrey? Stay and fight the good fight. Give it up, LAPD. <laughs> McCaffrey, you're under arrest on suspicion of murdering Evelyn Summers.
Hello, Rusty. Two on your usual lane? I'm Detective Phelps. Homicide. You must be new. <laughs> What's your shoe size? Ah, uh, this is business, Florence. You got a guy works here by the name of Tiernan? Sure we do. He's a pin setter. Clears the jams, works the gutters. Go right in. He'll be hopping around the lanes toward the back. He's a nice boy. Thanks, ma'am. Let's go get him. Down the left side of the alley. LAPD! There! What are you waiting for? Get after him! We might go faster if we weren't carrying the extra weight. These are flashy cars to be parked outside a bowling alley. The lanes attract a fast-living individual with money to burn. Or a middle-aged individual with the need to feel virile. Keep it steady and I'll try to bust his tires! Another runner. Well, at least he's got a suspect. Why do they always run? I'm sure we've got the wrong person in more than one of these homicides, but they always seem to land. You know, your theories are not airtight by any means. Don't go to sleep on us. Get me back in close. If this isn't the killer, we can at least get him for reckless endangerment. That's unless he runs into a wall and saves us all the trouble. He's going through the square. I hope the people see him in time to get out of the way. What if they run because someone's setting them up? Because they feel like the deck is stacked against them. I eh, don't make up ridiculous stories for them, detective. Leave that to the perp's imagination. Looks like we're going into the tunnels. God damn it, he'll kill himself. All right, as long as he doesn't kill us, I'm okay with it. Hey, clean this asshole off the road. Right, you get Show me your hands. We need to get downtown and wrap this thing up. It's got to be McCaffrey. Unless Tiernan set him up. You don't think that asshole Jameson did it, do you? Nah, whoever did it, it wasn't that Dahlia fuck. How do you know that McCaffrey didn't do the Dahlia? We have a list of over 200 suspects. His name was never on it. If you think the list is exhaustive, Rusty, who am I to argue? Listen, let's just work the case at hand, shall we? Then we can sit down and put all the puzzle pieces together in a later day. I'll hold you to that.
fool us! Oh my gosh! You sure you can make it stick with one of these suspects, gentlemen? It's either McCaffrey or Tiernan, sir. I think Jameson is an aberration. All right. I'll deal with that degraded lunatic myself. He's got some fearful retribution coming. Tiernan isn't one, McCaffrey isn't two. I want a confession from one of them. Don't fail me, young Phelps. Did you know, Mr. McCaffrey? I don't care. I don't go in for letting gangsters up, Scott. Why did you run, Tiernan? I was the last one to see Evelyn that night. I knew you would think it was me. What the hell is the LAPD up to you No, don't go! We both want the truth here. Tap. Say all's fair in love and war. Can you describe your relationship with Evelyn? I, I barely knew Evelyn. Sounds like half an answer to me, Ternan. Were you sleeping with her? That's none of your business. Are there nabbers without dirty in this city anymore? Aristotle's Metaphysics, the book that belonged to McCaffrey. McCaffrey saw her looking at her once and laughed in her face. And you're saying Evelyn stole it? She wanted something of his. Is anybody making coffee soon? You hate McCaffrey. You're trying to frame him for this. You've got the wrong guy! How can you prove that? I'm telling you, McCaffrey did this. Do something about it and leave me alone. You and Evelyn were drinking together last night, and she had no other place to stay. I don't know what happened last night. I, I don't remember. Anyone seen where Miss Wells went? If you don't give me some reason to think differently about this, Tiernan, I'm going to have to go to the DA. I drank half a bottle of scotch. I don't remember a goddamn thing. Do you own a car, Tiernan? No, I don't. Hmm. No way. Nope. Have access to a lug wrench? No, we use a lot of them to clear jams in the pin setting machines. I want the truth. I think you broke into McCaffrey's apartment and planted a lug wrench there. I didn't do that, and there's no way you can prove any different. As hard as this is for you to contemplate, I really loved Evelyn. She was kind and gentle to me. Evelyn was missing a ring from her right hand. That's strange. She always wore it. A uh, big black circular disc with a white E in the middle. It was made from an old typewriter key, a present from the prop department at her old movie studio. We're going to talk to McCaffrey. You need to think about what you've told us, Tiernan. You're not in the clear. Mousy sports strips off me at the grand jury. Case is thrown out. Now the DA wants my head. She wants a five-star goddamn wedding. 
I say we bust in there and you find the goddamn questions? evidence. You think I have all the answers? People who run from the police usually have something to hide. Touche, detective. Let's see where this takes us. Back here. I've not said my piece yet. I gave his wife a you told us you barely knew Evelyn Summers. She hung around sometimes. I had very little to do with her. You have to do better than that, Grosvenor. We know about you and Evelyn. Evelyn was a lush and a boring one at that. You can't link her to me. Seems there's a serious gulf between what you think you know and what you actually do, detective. Evelyn died sometime around midnight. Remind me, where were you? I was at home, writing. I'm working on a manuscript. You're lying, McCaffrey. You were out at the rail yard. And what do you have that proves I was there? How about half of Augusta Summers' last correspondence with her daughter? What are you talking about? After you were done beating Evelyn, you searched her and found her mother's letter. That old lady's anguish amused you. I know nothing about a letter or Evelyn's goddamn mother. So what was it doing on your writing desk? I don't know, but if I didn't put it there, somebody else did. Try exercising your powers of deduction on that. It's either going to be you or Tiernan, Grosvenor. Make it stick, detective. The party has good lawyers. You think a black boy get any on the side? Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. Detective. I need the jacket on a Grosvenor McCaffrey. Just a moment, Detective. McCaffrey was formerly under surveillance by the Red Squad. Convictions for petty theft. Dishonorable discharge from the Army during training at Syracuse. Assault on a local woman. Says he almost beat the woman to death. Thanks for your help. Here. I've not said my piece yet. I used to be indecisive. Now you I'm were not... in the war? Yes, I was. Seeing the things that I saw, it changes a man. I came back here determined to change things. All I wanted was a pen and an opportunity to speak out. You told us before that you had only minor run ins with the police. You didn't mention petty theft. I've never been in trouble for violence. That's the salient point here, isn't it? You're lying, McCaffrey. You have a history of violence towards women. How do you turn a couple parking tickets in a petty theft misdemeanor into an assault charge? We know all about you and your dishonorable discharge, beating some poor woman near to death in Syracuse. You've never been in combat, McCaffrey. Your whole life is a fraud. She was a goddamn peasant whore! She tried to steal from my wallet! I could have 
fought for this country. I could have. You beat her because she stole from you, because she tried to outsmart you. The ignorant audacity of the bitch. What is a man supposed to do? Sit there and take it? How is a man supposed to call himself a man? And Evelyn Summers, a poor, drunken nobody, stole your book. And she got what was coming to her. Grovener McCaffrey, I'm charging you with the murder of Evelyn Summers. She was a sad lady who never hurt anyone except herself. I hope God finds a way to forgive you. Congratulations, boys. You bagged the fine catch. Another red to boot. Grant. Now, I want you to put this business about a repeat offender out of your mind. This McCaffrey creature shows no remorse. And neither will the grand jury. You would have to walk a long mile to find a better candidate for an unmarked plot at a prison graveyard. We have lost most of Shaughnessy and Dunn's squad. It's Gunny is dead, first platoon is in worse shape. That medic is the crazy or the bravest man alive. Then we roundly with the first, the try for the Naboos. It's sheared to the left. To the right, it goes right through a pass with two Naboos and Infilate. Mate, we can I lose everyone. The lieutenant. Get back off this fucking bridge. They'll start walking the mortars back to their own positions. We only have I'm minutes. I'm in charge here, Sergeant. Get your men off the bridge, Lieutenant. What's your unit, Sergeant? We don't have time for this, Lieutenant. What's your unit, Sergeant? I company 22nd Marines, Lieutenant. And we just saved your ass by four. The river. My orders are to reconnoiter the... I think that point is now moot. You have ten men left. My orders are to save what's left. Move out! 